Welcome to YouTube News. My name is Kyle Marshall, and today, just one news story. Ben Cook has proved to be an indispensable part of the YouTube community, and it's really kind of crazy since how he's really only been making videos for the past three months. But he has. He's kind of invigorated this community. He's also really added to the conversation, and this week has been no different. You wouldn't think that an episode entitled Girls on YouTube would cause such a furor in the comments section, but then again, you might not know YouTube. What seems to have really ignited the anger was at the very end of the episode where Ben suggests that women, girls, you need to start creating content, but if you do, make sure that it's good. There's so much stuff wrapped into this issue that I feel that I'm not going to be able to do much justice to it within the next four to five minutes, but here let me try. The thing that I love about this website is that there is this great community behind it, but however great this community is, it doesn't stop people in the comment section from being dicks. For many, many years, until YouTube kind of put a stop to it, what would guys do in order to generate more views onto their videos? They would show someone's bosom, their breasts, their boobies. They're, I'm not going to say that word. I was going to say a very neat, met, I was going to say a very debasing word. And in the discussion about women and empowering them, I think that would be so stupid, Kyle. You're dumb, Kyle. Bad, Kyle. This topic has really been on my mind here because we had the Becoming YouTube, so we had the comment section and then the Tumblr post that came in. Twitter was all the buzz about it. Video responses started like pouring in. We had the Oscars that happened, which also had its own blowback because of sexism, and I believe that it really is on our conscience. Women are an integral part not only to our society, but they're also an integral part to the creative community as well. They have a very unique outlook. Yes, there are differences between men and women. I don't think anyone out there is going to say we're absolutely 100% the exact same. No, we're going to have different outlooks on life. We're going to have different experiences, but that's all to do with the difference in the genders. So you're going to have the same type of thing with different from people countries, from different uh, religious backgrounds. You're going to have that great multicultural aspect to this world. And the world is getting smaller and we're getting to really be able to, you know, um, innovate and cultivate these great relationships with people. I feel like I'm just making up words as I'm going along. I'm not. I swear I'm not. And, and one person I'm linking to down below says that not every woman wants to be a comedian, which is, you know, fair enough. There's going to be great vloggers out there. There's going to be great directors out there. There's going to be great makeup tutorialists out there. And there's nothing wrong with any of that stuff. If you have a passion, if you have something that you really want to get off your chest, you want to, you want to bring to the world, then we should do that. We should encourage that and we want to see that because it's not only going to make YouTube a better place, it's going to make hopefully the world a better place as well. Women are an integral portion of this world and we need to start recognizing that they are. If you haven't started watching Becoming YouTube, I don't know where your rock is that it doesn't get Wi-Fi, but you should really think about doing that. Call up your cable provider. Here are, I'm going to put up here on the screen, a list of names. These are my favorite women that are on YouTube currently. Click on their names if you're on YouTube so the annotation can take you right to their channels. Look down in the description below. So let's get to our top 10 most subscribed list here. A little bit of difference as you can see the Vivo channels are kind of making their way up the list. Sorry, but that's just the way it is now on YouTube. And the first channel ever to break the 8 million subscriber mark, Smosh. So at number one. But how long? How long are they going to be at number one? Because as I said last week, Jenna Marbles, just based on the number of subscribers she's gaining each week, I feel is going to be the first woman to take that number one spot. How appropriate is that for the subject at hand here today? If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or things that you want to talk about, there's that you know comment section down below that we're also very fond of. Uh, leave me, please, tell me what you think about this video, why you think women aren't being more supported here on the site, or maybe they are, we just don't know where to go to to find these really great people out there. Like I said, the people who I've linked in the description are going to probably be way more eloquent than what I am instead of all rambly mambly like I've been here. Don't you like women? Women are amazing. They're awesome. They're great. They're beautiful. Instead of men, they're all ugly and gross. Not what I'm saying. <sighs> I should get red hair.